Hello, this is Gannon Pounder, Field Application Engineer from Tektronix. This video is the first in a series of videos on 1000 Base-T Ethernet testing using an MSO68B series oscilloscope. In this first video, we will cover transmitter testing. To perform this testing, you will need a 5 series or 6 series Tektronix oscilloscope with Windows and the TechExpress Ethernet software options. You will also require at least one differential probe for transmitter testing, a TDP-1500 or TDP-3500 probe. You will also require a gigabit Ethernet fixture, the TFGBE from Tektronix shown here. We will concentrate on the TC2 section for the transmitter tests as the vast majority of the transmitter tests are made from that section. You can see here how to connect to the TC2 section. You want your differential probe connected to P9, the first lane of the four Ethernet lanes. You want the positive section connected to where the mark is on the board. Next, you will want to connect your device under test to the Gigabit Ethernet test fixture using the short cable provided uh, with the test fixture. Uh, you will also need to make sure that your device under test is testable. It needs to have special software or firmware to allow it to send the test modes out of the Ethernet port. If you do not have such software or firmware, and you will not be able to test the fixture. So I would talk to the vendor of your particular system to make sure that you understand how to get the software or firmware required to perform the Ethernet testing. So now that we have all of our connections made and the ability to test our device, we're going to go ahead and run this setup. So the first thing you want to do on your oscilloscope is go under Applications, pick Tech Express Ethernet. That'll take a few moments to start. Once that software has been started, we can go ahead and pick our testing, 1000 Base T. Pick our tests that we wish to perform. So I'm going to do that here. There's some tests I don't want to perform. And some of these tests are not transmitter tests. I want to check my reports, make sure I'm outputting my report the way I want to see it. We can choose the MHT Web Archive, PDF, or CSV. Most people choose PDF, but in this case, I'm going to choose the Web Archive. So I'm going to go ahead and push Start to run this setup. I will probably accelerate some of this because uh, it will run all the tests, and that takes a bit of time. The well, first thing we're going to want to do, it's going to tell us to set up, is to send test mode 1 from our platform. So I'm going to do that now. So now it's sending test mode 1. I want to make sure. So I'm going to reacquire here. Yes, that is test mode 1. I'm going to continue. And that will run the test. As the test runs, you will see that it will do the template tests. Once the template tests are complete, it will do a few more tests. Now those tests are complete, I'm going to do the jitter test, so I need to switch to test mode 2. I'm going to go ahead and test, switch to test mode 2 on my platform. Alright, test mode 2 is running. So this is the first of the jitter tests.
Now I need to uh, continue because I'm still running test mode 2. Now I need to switch to test mode 3. Test mode 3 is running. And now the testing is complete. We can see that we've passed. We can see all the tests that were done. We can look at all the measured values, margins, etc. And all the plots as they were drawn. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them. And so that is the end of the transmitter testing. Thank you once again for viewing this video from Tektronix on Gigabit Ethernet testing. If you have more specific questions on your own platform, please contact your local Tektronix field application engineer. They will be more than happy to help you. Thank you once again from Tektronix.